Okay, so I have created another R script um, just to show general regression analyses of time series data collected by smart users. So I'll just briefly go over the code and um, some of the steps that I used to uh, create these figures and the outputs. Um, and hopefully others can, can try to test it out and see how well it works. So I wrote some quick instructions at the top. First, you need to make four queries. So you want to query out your traps, camps, offenders, and efforts, so kilometers traveled per day. Um, for the trap, camp, and offender queries, you want to only query three columns. So the first column would be date, second is type, so trap, camp, and offender, um, and the third would be quantity, so how many traps were observed at that, how many camps or offenders were observed on that waypoint. Um, the third step is that the effort column should only have the date and kilometers. So in SMART, for example, if I show you my trap query, um, I just went to query properties, right, and just subsetted the ones, the columns that I want. So the waypoint ID, observation, it says tools, uh, you can change the name of that in R, and then the quantity that was found at that site. So in the code, um, I've opened the packages needed for the analysis, I've suppressed messages so it doesn't have a bunch of warning, this package was built under R version, blah blah blah. I read in the queries from SMART, and again, these have to be in order so that they're the correct, like traps. If I have traps first, then traps needs to be the first query, camps needs to be the second query, etc. So the first thing that I do is make an ID column um, for each of these, and I just use that to standardize things, right, so that I can subset them later. Um, and then I also standardize the column names because occasionally data models, they might have, for example, um, the n value will say number of traps or quantity of traps or um, traps found, for example. So you want all of them to be the same column so that you can combine them easier later on. <clears throat> Um, and then I read in the effort and I rename the first column to waypoint date and the actual value column to effort underscore kilometers. Um, you have to standardize the date format in R. The um, patrol queries that you get your effort from will come out in the format year, um, month, day. But the actual waypoint queries, they will come out in, um, so the B stands for um, the short form of the month, so DEC instead of December, for example, um, day and then year. So then I group all of the data um, by date and ID and just aggregate um, the number of observations so that you have the total number of observations per day for each of the ID. Um, and then I join the data all together with the effort column. So you'll have all of the observations, the number of observations, and then you'll have the effort per day patrolled. Um, I removed outliers and I tried to put this as like an automated process because occasionally the patrols will forget to turn off their tracks and they'll just keep it on for like the entire day instead of shutting it off after their patrol. So this will deal with that issue. Um, usually it doesn't remove that much unless you have really poor quality unclean data, which hopefully nobody has. And then I create a density column. So that's simply the number of observations divided by the daily effort. The next part is just uh, grouping by ID using that remove outliers function I just talked about to remove any uh, outlying data. And then uh, convert back to the standard format that R reads. The next thing is just the ggplot, right? So it creates all of the trends, it creates a regression and a localized regression, so you can see both the linear and localized regression, and uh, add some metrics. So you'll have your uh, regression quantity, you'll have your r squared, how tightly the, the data fits to the regression line. And um, I added in this log 10 scale, 
to each of the plots because it squeezes the data together better and it's easier for visualization. Okay, and then uh, the last part is it just saves it as a PNG. This is the only thing that users will have to uh, definitely change in their own code. So when you run it yourself, I have it going to this empty folder right now. So with R, all you have to do is copy this path, paste it in here, and then you have to change these forward slashes to backslashes because that's the only way that R reads it. Right? You can control F and change, or you can just manually change like I've done here. Okay, then I'll just go ahead and save this, and I'll show you how it works. So we have the traps, camps, offenders, and then the effort last, right? So this will work as long as you have everything in these orders. And then I run the script. It'll query all my data, and then it will turn it into that graphical representation. Right, so the way that you interpret this is the linear trend is the trend over time uh, with the data squeezed to it, and the lowest regression will show the fluctuation. Let me open that in my photos. Right, so you have your quantity per kilometer, so this is the density of illegal activity per patrol. I've just uh, divided this by, by a couple months here. Um, more people will have different amounts of data, so this should be fine. Um, it, it shouldn't be too clustered here on the x-axis. And then you have your uh, regression metrics up here. You have um, whether it's significant or insignificant, the trend, uh, the linear regression trend, your R-square, how closely it fits to the data. So you can interpret this as a percentage value. This would be a 1%, for example, uh, regression. That So you can see it doesn't really fit super close to the data, but that's normal with this, this kind of count data. Um, and you'll see that you can just generally tell by the trend, like uh, for 2018 in this location, camps were pretty much the same. Offenders decreased and traps slightly decreased. Ideally, what this will show you is just the trend over time. Are your efforts uh, reducing the amount of illegal activity um, on a density basis over time, right? Um, if you have any questions or comments or any ways that you think it could be improved, please let me know.